Phones will never be computers and computers will never be phones, said the unwise man. Introducing Samsung DeX. Use your phone in a full desktop mode and work on multiple apps just like you would on your computer. Attach a controller and use it for large gaming experience or boot an entire Mac or computer and work on them just using your phone. That is insane. But you know what isn't insane? My email to tcook at in early 2014, three years before Samsung introduced DeX in 2017, requesting Mr. T. Cook to exactly do what Samsung is doing with DeX. Attach your phone to an external display, let there be a cursor on the extended screen and convert the touch input on your phone or an iPad to a trackpad. Okay, okay, let's give it. He wouldn't have been impressed with my design skills back then. You see, it really sucked. Otherwise, Tim always replies. But Samsung in 2017 then released the original version of DeX, which required a DeX station to connect via an external display. Then in 2019, they moved to using just a simple HDMI adapter and eventually even completely wireless as well. That was just wild. Samsung DeX is actually the most undermarketed functionality of Samsung phones. Sometimes long-term iPhone users have no clue of this environment even existing. So let's see how should we use DeX. By default, when you connect your phone to an external monitor using HDMI adapter or cable directly, your phone screen is simply mirrored on a large display. But the form factor still remains the same of a traditional tall display of your phone. By switching in the settings to DeX, your external display will refresh and show you this curated environment which resembles a computer desktop. Well, how do you navigate this environment? The moment this environment starts, you will get an icon on your phone. Clicking that will convert your phone to a trackpad. Just like in my email, remember? There are gesture controls built into this trackpad, which are very responsive and operates very intuitively to any touch. So this is a desktop style environment. Apps all at one place, notification and basic settings on the right, a show desktop button and my favorite taskbar where all your open apps can easily reside just like how they do on your desktop. Surfing internet in a browser will look like as if you are operating just on a computer. For typing input, you can use the on-screen keyboard or attach an external keyboard or a mouse. This is where using an adapter comes really handy. It will give you more ports to attach a USB mouse or keyboard or use Bluetooth to connect to a Bluetooth keyboard or a mouse. Now using a mouse, let's take a look at some of the apps which look really good to operate in this environment. I'm going to start with Adobe Lightroom. This is an insanely powerful app and even the free version allows you to make your photos look awesome. Subscribe to the channel by the way for a video on that very soon. Just to give you an understanding, this is the app view on the phone and here is it on the Samsung DeX. On Samsung DeX, Adobe Lightroom reminds me of the Photos app from MacBook and using the mouse and a large display, you can take enormous advantage of this entire app, which feels restricted on a phone originally. Another app that can be a huge advantage for video creators will be VN Video. Look at this massive timeline and you can operate across this using your mouse. Every function of this app will just bring more to life using it on a larger display. Another application where I'm super impressed is where I actually use this as a remote desktop using TeamViewer. Using TeamViewer in full screen mode, I can actually connect my MacBook and use the horsepower of the MacBook while just using the basic internet and a power app like TeamViewer. I have used this in the past to access files that were locally only on my computer to update a particular thumbnail. Using Affinity Photo kind of complex software on MacBook and this is all powered on the phone. And all of this is for free. Freaking unbelievable. If you have access to Microsoft Office 365, then all applications of Office support the DeX environment. But it isn't a full-scale Office, but more than enough to get basic edits and changes. Which means you will be able to access all Office apps like PowerPoint, Excel, Words, etc. Well, using Zoom for video meetings can also be very interesting using DeX. As DeX is treated as a separate environment, hence when you click on share screen on DeX, DeX screen gets shared with the viewers. So you are no longer limited to only a phone or an app looking screen. You can share a full desktop looking websites and presentation right through your phone. 
Well, another way of enjoying Samson decks will be to attach a Bluetooth controller or a joystick and start some games. Aha, now we are talking. But that is where it is a bit disappointing. Samson Desk's official page states games which are compatible with keyboard and mouse settings. But there is barely anything interesting there and definitely no AAA titles. But the crown jewel game, which singularly is enough to take advantage of Dex, is Call of Duty Mobile. I have played Call of Duty on my Galaxy S20, but this is an insane experience. When you have attached a controller for multiplayer, you will be paired with another player using a controller as well. Games with support joysticks will operate exactly how they would on the phone, but the real estate is much larger and enjoyable. I'm using currently an Xbox controller via Bluetooth, but any other Bluetooth controller will also work. Well, I did say in the start of the video that you can connect DeX wirelessly as well. So let's take a look at that. Your TV and your phone should be on the same Wi-Fi for this to work. Simply make your TV discoverable and then go to the DeX option and choose the wireless TV option scene. Click on start and it is that simple. Even in the wireless mode, you can use the phone as a trackpad. But in my usage, on my previous Wii U TV, the cursor moved more fluidly. And on my current TCL TV, there is a lot of lag and almost looks non-usable. Samson has a list of compatible TVs mentioned on which wireless DeX operates perfectly. I believe most of them will be Samson. I do feel that the future does hold a lot of potential for Samson DeX. I think we are moving into a future where your mobile will be equally or more powerful than your computer and these are the kind of use cases that will continue to push the boundaries of getting the gap between computer and your phone completely getting narrowed up. So that was Samsung Dex's powerful use. If you want to check out another cool thing like AR Zone which is inbuilt into Samsung phones, then check out this video which has some crazy fun attached to it like live avatars and stuff. If you enjoyed this video and want to continue seeing more interesting videos like this, then click the like button and subscribe to the channel as it helps YouTube understand what kind of content do you enjoy the most and it will recommend you more like that. Hopefully some of mine as well. I'll see you in the next one.